and Korea go crashing out of the Asia Cup at the hands of Jordan in what was an embarrassing performance, um, which caps off a pretty much embarrassing tournament, to be honest, for South Korea, which is a pain for all of us to see. But we're going to go around the internet and see how the internet did react to that painful loss. And we're going to start off with THFC Kieran. He goes, South Korea, I have the man for you. You know who it is? Wait for it. I wonder for who it. it could be. Yeah, get him in. <laughs> get him in. Although, if we thought you were bored of zombie football, <laughs> you know, then mean. more zombie football. But look, at least he would have a plan, I think. At least yeah, he would have an idea. Jürgen has got to go. If it means bringing Jose in, I think they'll all take that. And you definitely won't if you see smiles if you're losing with him. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, big baller and the lads say uh, make him catch his own flight home this should be the end of his management career absolute fraud and that is Klinsman walking off the pitch smiling today well, after losing 2-0 to Jordan in a semi-final yeah how could you and that was a reply that says the way you have the audacity to smile when your team has just lost the worst manager with the worst tactics and the worst attitude to ever exist a lot of angry people at Jürgen Klinsman uh, tonight rightly so yeah, Rightly look. so. Not only does he have the worst, well, non-existent tactics, but he has the audacity to smile as he's walking off the pitch. Yeah, and apparently a lot of the players haven't taken to him as well. It's just a bit of a mess. But uh, next one is interesting. Yeah. Um, Sung Mo Lee says, Klinsman refused to resign as South Korea head coach, although there are huge criticism and pressure on him from the Korean fans and media right now. He said he'll return to South Korea with the team and analyze this tournament and prepare for the next one. Resign. Do the honorable thing. Forget resign. He needs to get sacked. The Korean Just, FA should sack him. He can't carry on as career manager based on what I saw in that tournament. I know they got to the semifinals. He'll, he'll maybe argue uh, it wasn't that bad, but we all saw the performances. We all saw how they played. It was terrible. They got lucky to get to the semis. Um, we've seen enough of Jürgen, I think. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it, though? Because, like, Spurs legend... Um, it's just so unfortunate that it has to be this way. But the players aren't playing for him. Yeah. They're not. That's yeah. reality. Charlie Beasley says, South Korea have now 28 months to prepare for the start of the 2026 World Cup. Get rid of Klinsman now and bring someone interested and passionate about Korea and their culture who is also tactically adept. Yeah, that's also something I've all criticised him for. Apparently, he you know, doesn't live in Korea, lives out in the US, hasn't like taken to... Uh, the Korean culture and all that stuff. So maybe that's also something that when things are going wrong, people are going to throw at you. Get Paolo Bento back in. At least he lived in Korea and took to Korean culture and he used to scout players in the KFA as in the K Korean league as well. Like apparently Klinsman hasn't gone to watch one Korean league game at all. That's not good enough. He shouldn't. He doesn't seem interested. He seems a bit lazy. Yeah. Um, I just think, I don't know about Paolo. Uh, Paolo Bento did all right, got to the round of 16 at the World Cup, but... I just like just some fresh ideas, a new guy, someone who's going to maybe get career fresh ideas, to, some ideas, just someone who's going to get career on the front foot. Yeah, uh, Library Mini is showing a picture of Son and his fingers mm. um, plastered oh, wow. up today. Wonder where that came from. Mm. D didn't see that in the last game. I wonder if they. I hope they're not broken or anything, or with something that's serious. But yeah, does he's all strapped up? Hopefully, he'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, this next one is just Sonny being completely manhandled by that really physical centre back, which was Al Arab today in the game. And I just hope he comes back to Spurs just completely injury free because he did get pushed around a bit today, didn't he? I think that's happened the whole tournament. He's been taking a bit of a beating. Yeah. So let's hope he rests up and he's okay to come back to Tottenham. But these kind of incidences and also it doesn't they don't seem to get booked or punished it just seem to be allowed to happen it's been very frustrating for sonny uh so i feel for him i feel like he's been targeted a bit this tournament because they know how good he is yeah best player in the tournament bell says you did everything you could sonny now get some rest you need that and he most definitely does need some rest but is he going to get that rest you know game around the week uh, on the weekend do you reckon he he comes in back into the squad on saturday yeah you know pape Sar came in and uh was on the bench came, we saw him for what 25 minutes or so at the end of that Everton game. So maybe it might be the same case for Sonny. Maybe he'll start on the bench and um, bring him on in the last stages. Yeah, knowing Sonny, I reckon he'll want to start. He'll definitely want to start. Uh, he'll he'll sure want to be wanted to start too. He'll want to be back involved. He's the captain as well. He's going to uh, feel that responsibility to be back in. I don't think he will start um, just because it's been a very taxing tournament for him. But I do think he'll be back in the squad. Yeah, look, two, twice he's been taken all the way to the end of extra time. And then in this one, it did only last 90 minutes, but it must have been a tiresome game for him because he was running his high out, wasn't he? And mm. 
just uh, he must have exerted a lot of energy. Nice one. Sonny tweets out saying the football was never sustainable, but it doesn't make the heartbreak any easier. Klinsman has blood on his hands. Korea made it to the semifinals despite not because of him. Simply said uh, a shame what could have been. And yeah, it's pretty much what I've been saying all tournament. You know, even I said, even if uh, South Korea win the tournament, I want Klinsman to be sacked because it's just been shocking the way that they've played throughout the tournament. Mm -hmm. Have to agree. Uh, I think even in the group stages, they will get they had a very easy group stage, but they were like kind of um, not making it through games, conceding goals, the football has been terrible, just relying on individual brilliance. And Klinsman, um, for a lot of this woman, has not had no solutions to a lot of the problems that have been happening. And as well, it just seems as though the players near the end as well gave up on him a bit. And, that, and, that's, and that, when that happens, it's hard to kind of make, get a U-turn on that. Yeah. If Sonny doesn't love a manager you know there's serious problems there because he loved everyone. I mean, I don't know a manager which he didn't love. Mm, um, and Klinsman goes up to hug him after the game, you know, I've never seen such a half-assed hug in my life. Yeah, Sonny's a big hugger. Um, this one is from Kutison. It's just a picture of Klinsman with many different crimes. <laughs> that he should be arrested for. Lock him up. Lock him up. I think he's guilty of all of these crimes. Illegal torture, theft, Assault and battery, fraud, kidnapping, mutilation, heists, blackmail, and get him, get him gone. <laughs> no context, Korea football, uh, just showing the stats from the game. And it's 2 0 to Jordan. 17 shots, seven on target to Korea, seven shots and zero on target. How could yeah. you have zero shots on target against Jordan in the semi final? It just makes no sense. Not good enough whatsoever to not create a single opportunity, make it really. Make sense. Doesn't make any sense. And I can't, apart from the what the Cho chance from the corner, I don't even remember like a chance where I was like, oh, what a miss or anything yeah. like that. It was just poor. It's true. Ryan Walter saying the difference between these two at full time says everything. Yeah, 100%. Uh, look at Klinsman walking off with that smile and look how devastated Sonny is. And he just couldn't stop apologizing <laughs> he either. He doesn't help himself, does he, Klinsman? Like, the only thing he doesn't, just don't smile at the end of the game. The only thing you have to do is look sad that you just lost the semi final and don't smile. And he just couldn't help himself, could he? Yeah. He had to have a little bit of a smile. Uh, and look at this one uh, at the end of the game. He's literally got smiling from cheek to cheek. Look at Expected that. Expected smiles. Unbelievable. <laughs> Expected smiles. <laughs> <laughs> you could think you thought we would have won. Yeah. Uh, that, that that's a winning smile. It is. That's a, yeah, exactly. That's the team who's made the final. Unfortunately, he hasn't. Uh, there's another one of Sonny um, after the game, just with a dejected look on his face. What does that say? I had the hardest time. Mm. He did have a difficult time and he's getting commiserations, but yeah, sad for Son. Uh, this one's from Maxwell. <laughs> this is the South Korean FA to Klinsman in the tunnel. Yeah, I, I think that's probably what they need to do. Yeah. <laughs> Klinsman out. Um, Get him gone. This is another one. And just look at this Korean fan. Just You feel <laughs> for him. You feel for him. He got there with all the face paint, ready to go, expecting his team to make the final. Well, to be fair, um, to be fair, I'm actually looking at it from the Brazil game in the World Cup, but I'm sure that's how all the Korean fans are feeling. Yeah, absolutely. And if he thought, if he felt like that against Brazil, imagine what he's yeah. feeling now. Absolutely, completely dejected. Son Love says, uh, Sonny is literally the kindest and sweetest person I know. Why can he never get what he wants? He always works so hard for his club and the national team, but it seems like his luck is never on his side. And it's so true, isn't he? He's probably like the nicest guy in football, got one of the highest qualities in football as well. And he's just always on the losing side. Yeah, and it's why I was, even though, you know, it's bad for Tottenham that he uh, st is in, at the Asia Cup, I did want him to get that trophy because he just deserves it for his career and, how, and what kind of person he is. So it's such a shame that he's fallen so late in the, in the tournament. But let's hope Tottenham can change it for him. Let's hope so. Uh, the stat says, during this tournament, South Korea have been blowing opponents away, have they? By no, far it says should have been. Oh, should have been blowing opponents away. By far the most talented team in the cup with Sonny Huang and Lee Kang-in. There were rumours about Klinsman's being on thin ice, but I'm sure he'll be sacked now because of miseration, Sonny. And that is so true. I mean, them in Japan were just like a mile above anyone in this tournament in terms of quality. And when you're looking at the front three, looking at Kim Min-jae as well, obviously he wasn't playing today. They should be. They should be just blowing away teams, battering teams left, right and centre. And they just... They've won one game. Yeah, it's mad to think about with the team they have. They only won one game. And even in that game, they had to make a comeback. And 
Drew of Drew of Malaysia, Drew Jordan in the in in the uh, group stages as well. Like even in the groups, they struggled through that, and they got lucky against Saudi and Australia. Last minute goals, Australia they should have lost three 0 but finally he caught up with them in the in the Jordan game, and that's what happened. Coco says uh, gave everything to Tottenham and kept us contenders up until we left for the Asia Cup and then gave everything to Korea and kept us in it until the semi-finals. Sung Hyun Min, you'll always be a legend for club and country. And that is 100% spot on. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Um, and this is Cho, THFC <laughs> Cho, saying me right now. And that's just, again, Son looking completely dejected in that post-match interview. Jason Lee saying, you'll never be forgiven for playing this football with this golden generation of player fraud. But we knew that, didn't we? At the KFA. Yeah, putting pressure on uh, the Korean um, Football Association to act because we all can see it on the pitch. He needs to go. Mm. Feliz, uh, just with another picture of that Klinsman smile. Everyone is just fuming at Klinsman with that <laughs> smile. It feels like they're fuming more at this smile than anything else. Literally, it's the worst crime he could have done. Be happy when they lose. <laughs> Son would never do that. Son no. would never smile. Cho, THFC Cho again saying, Korea's first ever loss to Jordan in our history. Thank you, Klinsman. <laughs> Gets worse, doesn't it? Spurs OTM showing Sonny as well at the final whistle. Just didn't know what to do with himself, did he? He's just standing there. Yeah, he, he just looking around. It looks like he can't quite believe it, but also kind of accepted it. Yeah. Shame. And uh, that is it. That's it for the way that the internet did react to that devastating 2-0 loss from um, on Korea from Jordan. But, there is a silver lining, and that silver lining is Sonny will be coming back home to Tottenham, and hopefully we'll be seeing him this weekend at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come, come on, on Spurs. Spurs.